on to pixel lab and you're going to bring in in the glass effect right here and you're going to also be adding a shape a rectangle shape and then you're going to be adding a radius to it like this next you come here to add a texture to it so we're going to be adding a texture of this thumbnail right here and we're going to actually scale it to fit well all right after that you're going to come here to add the text so the text i'm going to be adding here is the title of the video right i'm going to place it right here and make sure everything is well centered and placed after that i'm going to go ahead to add another text which carries the number of views and the time of upload all right so once that is done you're going to adjust it and also make sure that you fit it right in and you can reduce your opacity a little bit right here okay once you've been able to adjust and then reduce the opacity then you can come here to this layer option so we're going to turn off the, invis the visibility of other shape and just leaving the thumbnail image then you come here to select transparent and then you save so when this has already saved you come back here to the layers option and then you're going to turn off other turn on other ones that is the text and then you also save as transparent so basically this is what you just have to do you repeat the same thing for other images that you want to add once you're done you come here to cap cut and in cap cut what you need to do you come here to add the glass effect right here right so once you've been able to add the glass effects right here then you are going to come here to also add the image right that you just saved that is one that has the radius the, the radius um borders all right so you're going to add it here and place it inside the glass all right so after that you're also going to come and add the um, text image that you also saved all right so this is it right here you come here and add it so now once you've been able to add all of all these now we're going to add some animations to it so it's very easy so you come here to the glass effects you add a fade animation you can increase the seconds to like 1.6 seconds and here you also come here to this image right here and you use a slide up animation so you try and set it up to something like 2.4 right so once you've been set it to something like this then you come back here to you know add a little bit of animation to it so you come here to max scene 2 so here in max scene 2 where it comes out fully you come here to add the max to it so we'll come here and select the max you select the horizontal max you add a keyframe here and you also add a keyframe at this point here where it comes up so at this point where it comes up we'll try to add a feather to it just like this so it looks a little bit real realistic and interesting okay so you add a few to it and at the other second keyframe you are now going to come here to drag down the feather just like this you come here and you drag it down like this simple so you see how it comes in so after that you come here to this other text image and you add the slide up animation you also set it at 2.4 seconds like you set the other image okay so once you've been able to say that that is how it works so basically you just have to repeat the process for other image that you're going to be adding so let's try it one more time but this time around we are going to be adjusting a little thing so here once you come here to let's first of all try to increase the length of these images so you duplicate this particular one that's a glass image you place it right here you're not going to place it at the same point because you want it to come in one after the other Okay, so you come here and then you also come here to add the, the, the other image this time around you come and import it all right add it at an overlay then you place it right at the center of the glass effect just as you place the other one so once you've been able to do that then you are going to repeat the same animation that you created okay but before that let's also duplicate the text image then you're going to add it right under this place okay just at the same point where you added the um the glass animation okay so once you're able to do that you come here to ext extend this so at the point also where it comes out fully you add um the slide up animation first and then you come to the max scene too just as you did for the first one 
we're going to add a maxing effect to it so that it has that feather feel so you come into horizontal and you also add a keyframe here at these two points so at the first keyframe just add a little bit of feather to it and at the second keyframe right here you just drag it down all right just like this simple so you can see how it comes out so for the text you just come here and drag the text to put it right under this particular one you can change the text if you want all right just for this tutorial i wouldn't change it so this is how you're going to also repeat for other images that you want to add to it so once this is done then you're good to go you can then see how it looks like right now you see that so now we're going to add a little bit of glowing to the image that we just added so that it gives it another interesting feel so you come here to select the thumbnail image this particular one you come here to video effects and you search for glowing you add the edge glow to it you can see how it looks now the edge glow so you also repeat that you add it for the second and also for the third image all right so you come here search for glow you see you have the edge glow then you can see that so you repeat it that you repeat that same thing for every other image so once you're done you can see how it looks like 